Hey, what's up guys? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. This video today is sponsored by Grub Terra. Grub Terra is a sustainably sourced chicken feed. Grub Terra takes food waste and converts that into chicken feed by using black fly larva. So they capture black fly larva and they turn that into chicken feed. It's a sustainably sourced food. Uh, it's a renewable resource and it's uh, good for the environment and it's good for your chickens. It, uh, on the front of the label here, it, it claims that it produces uh, stronger uh, eggshells, um, keeps your uh, chicken's feathers healthy, and has 75% more calcium than mealworms, which mealworms is also a very popular chicken snack or chicken feed as well. Grub Terra contacted us a while back and asked if they could send us a bag of their black soldier fly larva and asked if we would feed it to our chickens and see what they think. So we're gonna give it a try. Um, I like the idea of it. It, it, it being sustainable, being a, a renewable resource, it's, it's obviously good for the environment. One pound of Grub Terra equals 20 pounds of food waste saved from a landfill. So they're um, composting or, or, or uh, using that food waste to uh, grow and harvest the black soldier fly larva. Yeah, so the nutritional facts on it has crude protein that's 36%, which that's really high for animal feed. Now this is a snack, this is not a food. You don't, I, according to their, uh, to the instructions and uh, from what I know, you don't wanna feed this to them as a food, but it's more just a snack. It's a healthy, very uh, protein rich snack uh, for your chickens. So we're gonna open this up, take it out to our chickens, and we're gonna see what they like, if they like it or not. Um, I have a feeling they will, so let's go out there. Look at that nosy, nosy Nellies. I didn't even get a chance to call them over here and they're already over here trying to get some. So guys, I was feeding the big chickens, the black soldier fly, Grub Terra, and they loved it. I, my camera battery went dead, so I did run inside and it took me about four or five minutes to get a new one and change it out. I came back out here and they're still in that spot looking for more. I just threw them a handful out there. So they really like it. Most of the time, if you come out here and give them uh, you know, some biscuits or bread or leftover stuff like that, they'll eat it and they'll move on. But you can see they're still over there pecking and scratching and trying to find more. So they must really liked it. So we'll, we'll give them another handful and then we'll go over here to our silkies. Guys, I would definitely say they that was a hit. They like them. If you can see behind me, they're following along behind me. We'll go over here and see what the silkies think. So I said silkies, and y'all might be thinking, that one right there doesn't look like a silky, and you would be correct. That's our wine dot that has been in with the silky since it was a chick. Come here. Psst, 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 psst. Come here.
<laughs> guys, I'm over here feeding the Silky and the one Wyandot. And look behind me, there's Skylar. She's always with me. But the old, the bigger chicks, chickens, were over here wanting some more. They're heading off now because Skylar's over here. I will say this, they liked, I, I could tell that they liked them more than any other snack that we've ever given them. Now we don't buy them snacks typically. We bought them, you know, maybe here and there in the past. Um, typically we give them bread or biscuits, leftover biscuits, something like that. And uh, they'll come out there, but they're not quite as intense and, and don't seem quite as interested and in, in stuff like that. They'll eat it, but it's just, uh, they definitely seem much more wanting to eat this and then the fact that they followed me around and then kind of stayed in that one place and kept scratching uh, tells me that they really liked it so I, w I will say this I, I think the chickens liked it go check out Grove Terra when they contacted me I went to their website there was a little bit of sticker shock on what they charged for a bag of this I'm not gonna lie but if you think about I mean I, I fed you know our chickens a snack tonight and it didn't even put a dent in this this bag this is a one pound bag so you could um, you know if you give them you know a handful uh, a few times a week you could get a lot of time out of one of these bags out of a one pound bag and if you buy the five pound bag uh, you do get a discount um, the, the price is a little bit cheaper per pound so I don't it's not something that you're gonna go through a bag every couple days or something like that unless you have a lot of chickens I think it's worth uh, worth it it's, it's, a, it's a healthy snack sustainable snack for the chickens um, we're definitely gonna keep feeding them this we'll update y'all on some upcoming videos as to how they're liking it, how it's going, and what we, if we notice anything with our egg production or uh, the strength of our eggs, anything like that, we'll, we'll definitely let you know on that. So, but y'all go check out Grub Terra, tell them that 5M Family Homestead sent you. Guys, if you do decide to buy Grub Terra, I'm gonna put a link in the description. Um, it goes to our Amazon Associates page. If you click on that link and buy Grub Terra through that link, we will get a small percentage off the sale. And it just helps us a little bit. So if you do decide it's something you want to try, please go down there and click on that uh, the Amazon link in the description, and that will take you to Amazon and through our link, and you will be helping us out. We thank y'all very much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see y'all again.